Hi, this is a short tutorial on how to work with layouts, or pardon me, uh, rotations in the Android uh, programming. So, to begin with, I've created a you know basic project here. Uh, the activity is open. I've just changed the text on the display, and if I were to run it, it'd just be the standard uh, activity that does nothing. It has created the main activity for me, as always. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add in a log message. So log, I'm going to put in an E, an error message, and I'll show you why in a minute. And I'm going to put in some, you know, this is the orientation demo. It's the tag, and then I can put in uh, running on create. So I've said before that this should probably be extracted to be a uh, variable, so I'm going to right-click on it, and then from the list, it's off the, so oh, there it is, refactor, and extract a uh, local variable we'll do for the moment, and I'm going to name it tag. Tag, move it up here, and private. And, of course, to make this work, I need to import the Android uh, log interface. Now, let's see what happens when I run this. So I've got the log cat here visible on the screen. I'm switched to Android 4.2 for this demo. As we can see here in this uh, emulator running that I've got started already, I'm using the later versions of the uh, development kits here, be, or the uh, Android for this demo uh, because some of the features don't work very well in the earlier versions. So I've got it running and we can see here when the application starts, I'm just kind of slide this down just a little, we can see that it comes up with the onCreate method. Now what's interesting is on your keyboard, if you have a number pad, you can hit the number 7 or 9 to rotate the display. So hit 7 on my number pad now and it rotates the display so that it's in landscape mode. We can see the spin animation on the screen and we see a new message pop up here. It's kind of interesting. I'll do that again. I'll hit 7, it rotates it back to portrait mode, and we get the message up again. What actually happens is every time you rotate the display, it destroys the activity that was previously being displayed, and it recreates a new copy of that activity. So what you had is destroyed, and a new one is created. It's as though maybe you clicked back and then relaunched that, or that activity. So this can cause some challenges. Uh, in a lot of applications, if you just work with it well, you're on, you're, you can rotate with it. There are techniques you can use to have different layouts for different orientations. But in this demo, I'm going to show you how to lock the orientation. So let's imagine that we're writing a game, and we don't want it to be portrait mode. We want to force the system to stay in this landscape mode. So how can I do that? It turns out to be very simple. So what you can do is you can load up the Android Manifest. So down here I've got the Android Manifest. And I could go through the UI on this. I'm just going to go through the XML because it's sort of the easy and direct way to go. What you want to do is you want to find the activity that you're interested in locking the orientation for. We're going to lock it on an activity by activity basis. And then as part of these extra sort of uh, tags that are being or um, values being put in here, the attributes being put in, I'm going to add a new one, Android, and then I want to say Android, and it gives me some ideas here, I want to say screen orientation, and then I can give it a couple of values. So I'm going to say landscape. Note that I moved the close tag afterwards, so this is part of the attributes of the activity tag, not going to be inside it like the intent filter. Okay, so I've now got the landscape. I will save that. Control F11. It should relaunch. I will stretch this up so we can see it relaunching here. And I'll come up here. We see the it's spinning back to the portrait mode, which I will put up right here by hitting 7. And now my activity is locked in landscape mode. I'll hit 7. It's still landscape. And furthermore, by rotating, it is not triggering a restart on the application. So I'm not restarting my activity when I hit that. Now I don't have to be in uh, landscape. There's a few other things I can try. You might have guessed, but there's also a portrait. 
portrait mode will force it to always be vertical. So no matter what happens, it's going to continue to work on vertical. So let me clear my log just so we can see what's going on. We'll see one message displayed when it starts up initially. And then as I rotate, I'll see nothing. So it does not create a new, does not destroy and recreate it, which is exactly what I wanted. Now it turns out that there's a few other ways that the uh, Android may decide to destroy your, your activity and create a new one for you, and so we can kind of lock out a number of these. So I can say, and again, under Android, I can say I want to do a config changes. This will be the sort of configuration changes about the keyboard, the orientation, and so forth. And these are the things I'm going to tell the uh, the the pardon me the Android that I want to handle explicitly, and therefore don't kind of kill my application for me. So I'm going to say keyboard, or I use the vertical bar for or. It's going to or the two bit fields together, or orientation, or keyboard hidden, with a capital H on the hidden, or screen size. Of course, these aren't actually bit fields. They're strings, but that's the idea. And now, if I run this, the idea being that if you had a slide-out keyboard on your Android, of course, the emulator doesn't support that, but if you did on your real device, the slide-out keyboard wouldn't trigger a restart or a um, relaunch of your activity, nor would a screen size change or anything like that. So I'm still locked in portrait mode, and we can see here rotation does nothing. A couple of cool things here. We can say that I want to do reverse portrait. So reverse, capital P on the portrait. So I can say I want reverse portrait. I will clear that. And it's effectively going to give me it upside down. So rather than as I holding it upright, it giving me the everything uh, sort of the right way up, it's going to flip it and be upside down. So this might be useful in very specific cases. You can, if you wanted the device to be held the opposite way for landscape, you can do a reverse landscape. Relaunching. Now I think here we've had a, a bit of a failure there. Oh. Now it's pointing the other way. If I put it to landscape, we see it's upside down. So generally, if you want to lock the display on a landscape or portrait, just say landscape or portrait here in the screen orientation. And if you want to prevent a few other configuration changes from possibly re, uh, you know, killing and relaunching your activity, uh, we might want to uh, force those, turn those off by using the config changes. All right, so that's uh, all that's going to be covered in this. Thank you for watching.